People usually take their medicine with a glass of water, but what happens when that medicine gets in the water? That's where chemist Ann Morrissey comes in. She figures out how to get pharmaceuticals out of the water supply. See, sometimes when you take a pill, not all of the medicine stays in your body. It passes through you and goes into the sewers with what experts call wastewater. And then if it's not taken out of the wastewater, then it can end up back into the, the surface water and into the drinking water. Morrissey is using the latest technology to get those chemicals out of the water. Part of the process involves a material called graphene. Think of your number two pencil. When you write with it, you're leaving graphite on the paper. That graphite is actually several layers of molecules. Peel away those layers until you have just one left, and you've got graphene. At one atom thick, graphene is the world's thinnest material. It's so thin you can only see it with powerful microscopes, but it's super strong and has other amazing properties. And the graphene has an amazing capacity to absorb five or six times its own weight, as potentially for depending on the pharmaceutical. In other words, graphene is like a sponge that can sop up medicine like crazy, growing to five times its own weight. That's what it does to those medicines in the water. Graphene absorbs the uh, pollutant and it captures it and holds it there, but that doesn't degrade the pollutant. To break down those captured drugs, Morrissey invented a process using a chemical compound called titanium dioxide. Now, titanium dioxide is very commonplace. It's used in to uh, toothpaste, for example, for the whitening of the toothpaste. It's used in paints. It whitens paints. So it's very common, very cheap, very abundant. She mixed the graphene with titanium dioxide and hit it with good old-fashioned sunlight. Then wham! The medicine's degraded inside the graphene. A filter is used at the end to soak up all that graphene before the water goes back to your tap. Morrissey says kids should always still take their medicine. It's her job to make sure you don't accidentally take the remnants of someone else's.